Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Well I'm out here again today at Bushcraft Wonderland. It is great to be out here. It's actually been a few weeks. It feels really good to be back and today this is episode 6. So in the prior episodes I pretty much got to the point where everything was cleared out, got rid of all the deadfall, got everything fully prepared, built myself a nice bench started to assemble some walls and that's exactly where I am today. So continuing forward, trying to build a back wall here. So if things go well, I'm gonna get this back wall completed. I also need to build a little bit of an A-frame for the front wall because, well, I found there were pretty significant pockets of ledge that wouldn't allow me to dig. And with that said, I needed to come up with another way to make my walls and I figured some good A-frame structures and tie everything together would do the trick. So that's exactly what I'm up to today. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. The last time I was here, Ran out of cordage, so got a nice new fresh roll for today. So this will last at least one day, and that's a good deal. And leveraging a dump pouch today to make my life just a little bit easier. So now I've got a couple of my support braces in place. Now all I really need is my ridge pole to connect across. I could have done this potentially in one full wall panel, but I opted to do two just to keep the length of you know the lumber and you know the, the logs that I'm using to a more manageable length and also to allow me to kind of kick the wall. As you look, you'll notice it's not a straight line, it's actually on an angle just a little bit. I kind of wanted to open things up a little bit behind the bench and I had realized early on that where I had dug my hole was gonna kind of leave me a little cramped and I just want room to be able to walk behind this once I'm inside the shelter. So it's coming along pretty good. I'm happy with this, but at this point I gotta find myself another ridge pole for the second wall panel. Now this should be about perfect, a little bit on the heavy side, but nice and straight, thick, and it's dead so I can cut this down no problem you know I am trying to be mindful of the wood that I'm using so anything dead or if it's super crowded uh, and alive and it's in direct competition with another tree but I'm trying to be very mindful of what I'm using out here so this dead tree here is going to be about perfect
And so now with the back wall fully established, I need to start working on my front and side walls. And the next thing for me is, and last time in episode five, unfortunately, I uncovered this ledge, which is gonna make it very difficult to actually sink a corner post. So what I really need to do is some sort of an A-frame to hold up this particular corner and then tie it into the back wall. I'm gonna put a door in roughly around here. So that's gonna be my entrance and exit out of the shelter. And then the back wall, similar idea where I do end up with ledge down underneath here, so I can't really sink a post. But what I am thinking is if I get to work on this ladder a little bit and square all of this up and get it fully established, right now it's just kind of thrown up there, but fully established, that can actually become part of the back support for the side wall here. So, I think for me, this is kind of the next move, really getting this fully established, locked into place. And um, from there, we'll see how it goes. But I think that's next. Perfectly dead pine here that I absolutely should harvest. But the hard thing is landing this exactly where I need, but let's go for it.
So I decided to make a little departure from what I thought my plans were gonna be. You saw me carrying in that log. Well, that's actually absolutely perfect to start one wall here. So instead of working over on the ladder side, I'm actually on the, you know, on the water side here, close side to the sun, my southern facing wall. Now, that log is perfect. It was dead to begin with, easy to cut down, landed it perfectly, was barely manageable by one person to carry it, but I got it done. So what I'm gonna do now is actually get it up and over the rock. I think it's gonna work perfectly. I mean, by the looks of it, it's gonna be close, but I should be able to establish that as one main uh, roof line. So a uh, ridge pole for one of my roof lines, that's gonna be absolutely sweet. So at this point, I gotta get that up into place, but this is coming along nicely. Yeah, absolutely, that's about right. So, I mean, without too much difficulty, that takes care of pretty much one of the main roof line uh, ridge poles, so that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with that, that's sitting nicely. Just a matter now of lashing it down and trimming up the ends, and that side's good to go. Nice view from up here. So just getting ready to lash this ridge pole to that tree. And you'll see perfectly laid out here, the main frame of the back wall there. So that worked out very well. And you can see there is quite the nice view from up here. Looking over the entire forest gives me quite a good advantage in terms of my ability to really see out there and what's going on. So I like this spot. I think up here it's going to be a pretty cool place to hang out. I mean, the entire woodsy area here is obviously incredible, but this particular boulder is quite nice. And I like the idea of having a little bit of a vantage point up here. Pretty cool. So the problem with being very selective about exactly what trees I cut down, being very careful to try to be at least a little bit responsible, but they're so far away and so heavy. I tried dragging this last one as far as I could, but without help, I'm not gonna get it here. It's long, it's heavy, 
and quite frankly it's just not safe for me to do it by myself and I have to keep in mind I gotta make it home today so uh, that's on hold for now I think what that means is it's coffee time unfortunately for me no coffee time what a major letdown for this propane tank I do need an adapter and I intentionally brought the adapter home with me last time because I only have one and I use it at home also which tells me I need to now buy another adapter because me and bushcraft wonderland without coffee well that's pretty much sacrilegious And if there's one thing you didn't know about me by the end of this shelter build, you will. I'm goal driven and I'm stubborn when it comes to achieving those goals. And I wanted to get this beam up and on the roof today. And so regardless of how difficult it is, you know what, it's just gotta be done. So I dragged it here. <laughs> um, I'd say almost the length of a football field, <laughs> but it's here. So, all right, now I gotta get it into place up onto the roof. And that is a pretty good achievement for today. But not quite. All right, so now I have two out of the three roof beams in place. That is an awesome day, and this is coming together absolutely fantastic. So the next move for me, I do also need the one up the middle, and then what I'm going to do is put a piece kind of this way and this way to tie everything together up on the log so it can't move on me. But overall, this is coming out wonderful. Now, taking a quick look here, you'll see, looking down, there's my bench. And that's a nice overall area. It's not overly large, but it's big enough to do exactly what I need. And putting a fireplace in there, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna build a frame up over the top of this to support a tarp, which will be pretty much my roof. I mean, my plans are pretty much to use a tarp for the roof. I don't have too much in the way of good roof material and certainly not good enough to keep it waterproof, but the tarp will do the job. And I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on one big enough to cover the entire thing and maybe drape down the sides a little bit, but we'll see what I come across. It might end up being a little bit of a uh, product review we'll see but overall this is coming together absolutely fantastic well so all right guys bushcraft wonderland episode six that is now a wrap 
I'm covered in sap. This is awesome. I'm just pumped to be at this point. I mean, a tough day, a lot of heavy logs, good amount of work. And again, like I say every time, doesn't look like it, but it's been a number of hours out here. And this is what I have to show for it. So all in all, good progress. I feel great about this. I love the idea that I could actually roll into camp now and literally string out my tarp and be in my shelter. It's not perfect. It's not what I want it to be, but it is actually the full frame of a shelter minus really just one more main pull for the roof. And then I can start working on some of my smaller sort of, you know, roof structure to hold up the tarp in the walls. Um, but the bulk of the heavy duty work now is really done. That was the hardest part. So place is all cleared out and looking good and comfortable and man, what a beautiful day. So I'm absolutely pumped to have gotten out here. I'm glad I did. A lot of work got accomplished and Bushcraft Wonderland, this is a magical place. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. So, all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. Hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.